Well, they, they work pretty good. These are uh, a unique little item, these lucky bugs. It's a fly with a little plastic lip on it that gives it a little crankbait action, a little wiggle side to side. And uh, I've been using them for bass, they work great. Of course, not on a fly rod where I've been using it, but I, I can put it on a three-way rig and get it out there and they're bugs. The fish are gonna eat the bugs. Well, now you know that the salmon like them too. Well, if I asked you one question, if you were a novice fisherman, what is the most important thing if you wanted to start fly fishing? What would you say? To make sure that you get a, an outfit that's balanced. You want, uh, you want to make sure that, that you have a, a line that uh, matches the rod, so the rod loads properly. Right. And uh, that's likely the most important thing. If you, if you have a rod that's not balanced, you just, you know, it's, you're just uh, spinning your wheels, so. Okay. No, and I think that's it. It shouldn't be yeah. an effort, should it? You shouldn't no. be struggling. It should, if you should feel the, the rod load up with the weight of the line. That's right, yeah. Sure hit it. Yeah, they don't give there up very well. There Thank we go. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Well done. Thank you, Lynn. There's your lucky bug right in, his, in the tip of his snout there. Yeah, a perfect spot. Oh, yep. Yeah piles and piles of assortment of colors. They come with a little quick snap on. Three different sizes, and I know they're working on more, but there's that little plastic lip at the front. And when you put that in the water, it just has the greatest little action. Let me get out of your way, Len. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you gave me the good spot, Len. Way to go, Charlie. <laughs> you know it's rude to outfish your guide. It's okay, I think you got the big sturgeon on me this year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Now, Len, even in a situation like this, the fluorocarbon leaders, these seagars, the uh, invisibility is not an issue right now, but the abrasion resistant quality is still there. Yeah. I mean, even if you're not using it for the invisibility qualities, having it for that abrasion resistant, and you're not constantly having to retie, retie, retie. That's a nice big male. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot yeah. of rocks down there. Let me get over to your side yeah. here, Lynn. Yeah, this a little. This one's a little bigger. That last male was pretty fresh, so it didn't have much of a hump. So, but this one does. Just gotta make sure I stay off my line. Yeah, this one uh, has substantial hump. I, I'm impressed, Lynn. These work really good. These little lucky bugs. Yeah. Like you said, you got the right colors. They got tons of color assortments. And that little action wiggling away, it just, it, <laughs> it works. Uh, I'm glad you came out. I've seen them in the stores, but you know, I've never used them until now and they sure work. Well, you gave me the good spot, but uh, and look at that, that fluorocarbon, that cigar is right through his yap. And I'm glad that's not monofilament. The cigar is so abrasion resistant. I've got confidence. Okay, well, another run. <laughs> Why yeah. rush? You're just going to break fish off. I come no. out here to fight fish. Why lose them? That's this right. This is the fun yeah. part. Take your time. Enjoy. Enjoy. That's a big fish. Yeah. I think that was the very next cast. <laughs> I don't think I've had a cast in a little while, Charlie. I've been standing here with the net. <laughs> very nice. Now, like myself, I haven't use the fly rod in, in many, many months. Do you always suggest, Len, to give the fly line a good stretch to get the kinks out of it? Yeah, especially the, uh, well, most lines you need to stretch. It, uh, it helps it. It takes the memory out. So right. it's a lot easier to cast if you I'll do that. You in there, there Len, go. and yeah. I'll get you to, All right. oh, maybe not we quite. Got there we go. Yeah, we got him. I don't want to horse him over there, but yeah. there you go. If you take a stab, that's a big pink. Yeah, that sure That's is. That's awesome. <laughs> there we go. There you know, go. I just started using these Lucky Bugs this year, and everywhere I've been using them, like I said, for bass, pan fish. Haven't used them for walleye yet, but uh, I've caught trout on them. Obviously, like you said, they work for salmon. Yeah, they sure do. There we go. Yeah. Look at the hump on that thing. That's, that's a pretty hefty you know, fish, are, are these it? slippery fish to hold They're on to? They're a little bit slippery, but if you hold them over the water, no worries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, look, look at, at that. that. Yeah. Big male pink. Let go of my net. <laughs> nice. Another nice lucky bug pink. Beautiful Perfect. fish. 
There, okay, I'll get straightened up and maybe you'll get a line in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Thanks, Len. Yeah. If you need help catching fish, you need Lucky Bug. Lakes and rivers, casting, trolling, or fly fishing, everything will eat this natural looking hybrid lure. The small molded lip creates a unique erratic action that sends distress signals to the fish, one that fish simply cannot resist. Carefully handcrafted with a wide range of colors and sizes for anything you fish for. The next time you need a little luck, get Lucky Bug. It's working for you. It is certainly working for me. Three in, in uh Well, I think you, very you've, you've given order. me the sweet spot here, right where the... Well, I think the, your the lucky delay. bug is, uh, <laughs> is luckier than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go swimming. <laughs> no, I'm not. There I'm, you go. My there arms go. are only so long. <laughs> there it goes. There we go. And we'll let her go. Absolutely. Thank you, Lynn. Away you go there, young lady. Oop, let go of my net. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can even see on the feathers on this, that's third fish. We've had a few other wax on it too. They hold together pretty well. The, the core of the body is plastic right down to here, and it's just dressed up with the feathers. Nice little item. Well, whatever it is, it works. It does work, and that hook is still nice and sharp. And fluorocarbon? Good old cigar. Those fish have teeth. They sure do. I wouldn't want to be trusting monofilament to that. Excellent. Thanks, Len. <laughs> <laughs> that one absolutely plowed it. Well, that's perfect. There was no, the other ones took it lightly. It was just weight there. This thing just chunk. <sighs> that's perfect. I don't think he's going to be too much longer to be netted, Len. All right. Get this one back again. Yes. You're hooking them almost every cast over there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I know you even tried one of your regular flies and it wasn't working. No, that's it. They seem to work pretty good. There we go. They have a great assortment of colors as well. I only brought a few. And he's constantly coming out with new colors. Oh, and, and, <laughs> hey, you're flinching, oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying not to get wet. That's a fresher looking fish, Len. Yeah, that's not bad, Charlie. That's nice, nice male. There we go. Let's let him go. Nice fish. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I could, uh, we're going to make a fly fisherman out of you, yeah. Well, these things work so well. This, this is really encouraging to do a lot more fly fishing. <laughs> Got another one there, Len? I do. I'll, gonna... uh, I'll have to leave you some so you can play around with the different colors. That works. I'd love, love to try them for coho. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't work, especially with the colors they've got available. They sure work for pinks. That one slam it or just there? No, he just hammered it. Just, just, <laughs> you gotta love it. He, he wanted it bad. Well, that, uh, we had some real heavy rains the last few days and the Fraser colored up, but there's a, a lot of fish out there as well. You're just positioning this fish to soak me, aren't you? <laughs> Did you notice that? There we go. <laughs> I won't give you the chance. Good job. <laughs>